Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2020, slot 3 DILR, says that there was a survey conducted on 600 schools in India and to gather information about their online teaching learning process, there are four facilities in there F1, F2, F3, and F4. You need not worry about that which facility is which, you just have to remember the codes. The following observations were summarized from the survey. 80 schools did not have any of the four facilities, 40 schools had all four facilities and some more statements. So by just reading this piece of information, we can easily figure out that it is about a four set Venn diagram. Okay. So uh, we will generate a four set Venn diagram like this F1, F2, F3 and F4 and we will try to fill the direct information first and solve it. Okay. So let's begin. It says 80 schools did not have any of the four facilities. So outside the Venn diagram, we will have the number 80. 40 schools had all four facilities. So all four comes here, which is 40. Okay. The number of schools with only F1, only F2, only F3 and only F4 is 25, 30, 26 and 20. So 25, 30, 26 and 20. Right. So we have filled this also. The number of schools with exactly three of the facilities was the same irrespective of which three were considered. So it means that we will have different combinations of schools that have three facilities. So all those uh, numbers are the same. So these are the schools that have three facilities. So it is saying that they have that was the same number. So let us put the number as for the time being A. So that we remember that the number is equal. 313 schools had F2. So F2 is present in 313. 26 schools had only F2 and F3, but neither F1 nor F4. So only F2, F3 is 26. So this number is 26. Again filled. Among the schools having F4, 24 had only F3 and 45 had only F2. So only F3, F4 is 24. So only F3, F4 is 24 and only F2, F4 is 45. F2 and F4, this number is 45. Okay. Now 162 schools had both F1 and F2. So 162 schools had both F1 and F2. That means this number is 162. Right now, this number is 162 and 313 have F2. So, this part, the one which we have circled, is 162. So, remaining should be the other half on the right hand side should be 151. Then, only total will be 3 by 3. Now, out of 151, we know three of the values and A is remaining. So, we will get the value of A. This is we will get 30 plus 26 plus A plus 45 equals to 151. So this is 5601 or A is 50. So A is 50. Now we can put A 50 in all these places and get these numbers 50, 50, 50 and 50. Okay. Now we can get this value also. This is 162. So 100, 140. That means this value is 22, right? So we have filled these information. Now only two values remain over here. And what is the last condition? It says the number of schools having F1 was the same as the number of schools having F4, right? So F1 is equal to F4. Now thus far, we have uh, these numbers. So add the numbers of F1 that we can get. This is 100. 150, 190, 147. So let us say these values are A and B. Okay. So F1 we are getting as 150, 190 plus 47, 237, 237 plus A plus B. Right. And F4, what are we getting? We are getting this as uh, F4 we have 100, 150, 190. 210 plus 70, uh, 69, 279. F4 is 279 plus B, 
right so these are equal so we can get the value of a is equal to 42 these are equal so a is 42 so one or more value is identified now we need to find the value of b how do we get the value of b that is the question okay now see this there are total of 600 schools so in venn diagrams you need to adhere to the totals that are given to us so total are 600 80 students are outside this so the grand total of all these values should be 520 inside the venn diagram we should have total 520 now no need to add all totals individually we know this total is 313 313 is already known just add these 50 70 this is 70 and this is 120 120 plus like this 3 add to 70 50 means 120 120 plus 67 is 187 so 313 plus 187 gives us 500 okay so the remaining value that will be is 20 because total is the remaining is 520 500 we have calculated so b will be equal to 20 so this is how we can calculate all the values now we can answer the questions based on its set what was the total number of schools having exactly three of the four facilities so exactly three 50 50 50 and 50 we have 200 such schools what was the number of schools having facilities F2 and F4? F2 and F4. Now remember the word only is not used. So we will found we will find whatever is common to F2 and F4. So this is the common area. So we have 100, 140 plus 45, 185. What was the number of schools having only facilities F1 and F3? So F1 and F3 only is 42. And the last question, what was the number of schools having only F1 and F4? So only F1 and F4 is 20. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.